Hi, second graders. Today, we are going to be working on Unit 1, Lesson 8. This lesson has three parts in it. The first part is all about equations. The second part is equation chains. And the third part is called vertical form. In this video, we're going to talk about all three of those pieces, and at the end, we'll be able to practice all of them. The first part that we're going to practice today is all about equations. Have you ever heard the word equations before? You might have heard them in first grade. Equations are a math term. In an equation, one side is the same as the other side. And in an equation, they have an equal sign. So I have put some different equations on the screen. Some of them are true equations. If they're true, we will put a star next to them. If they are not true, or if they're not an equation, we are going to have to be on the lookout to see if we can spot them. Let's start right here on the first one. Five plus five equals 10. Wait a minute. In our last lesson about doubles, we talked about five plus five. Does five plus five equal 10? Yes, it does. So that is an equation. On this side, we have 5 plus 5. That equals 10. And that matches the other side. So we have 10 is equal to 10. Let's go down to the next equation. 1 plus 3 equals 6. It has an equal sign. That's good. Let's see if both sides are the same. One plus three. I'm going to use my touch points. Three, four. So we have four equals six. Is that a true equation, second grade? No, it is not because the left side does not match the right side. So watch what I'm going to do. Instead of keeping the equal sign here, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a slash in between it. So then I can read it in a different way. I can say one plus three does not equal six, since the two sides were not equal. Let's try the next one. Two plus two equals five. What do you think, second grade? If I have two and two, do I get five? No, I do not. Two plus two equals four. Four does not equal five. They are not the same on both sides, so we cannot leave the equal sign. One plus seven equals eight. Let's use our touch points to help us decide. Seven, eight. Oh, this one's looking good. Eight is equal to eight. Is that true, second grade? Yes, it is. This equation is a true equation. Very good. Let's look at the last four over here. Seven plus two. That seems a little short, doesn't it? I remember over here that an equation has an equal sign. Does this have an equal sign? No, so this one is not an equation. Nine plus three equals 12. Okay, we have the equal sign, that's a good start. Let's check and see if both sides are the same. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 is equal to 12. That is an equation. Next is just the number six. Is six an equation? No, six is just a number. 
There's no equal sign, so it's not an equation. And the last one, 2 plus 3 equals 5. We have the equal sign, that's good. Let's check both sides. 3, 4, 5. 5 is equal to 5. That looks great, second grade. Remember, in an equation, both sides are the same. They also have an equal sign. Another piece to equations are equation chains. Now, you probably won't use these all the time, but they're very important to know. In an equation chain, we start with one number. In this equation chain, we will start with the number six. And what we're going to do with our equation chain is link a bunch of equations that all are equal to the number six. Watch how I do that, second graders. Hmm, six. I know something that equals six. Three plus three equals six. That's a double, right? Now I'm going to put another equal sign. What else gives me six? Hmm, what about five plus one? Five, six. Oh, yes, that works. Good. Okay, let's put in, let's think of another one. Hmm, let's think. What if I have 10? Now, if I'm at 10, I need to get smaller to get me to six. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I subtracted four. That gives me six. What if I start with the number two? Two. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I needed to add four to get me to six. And I can keep going and going for as many equations as I can possibly think of. Now, I know a lot of equations right off of my head, but you could keep going forever. In an equation chain, we want all of our equations to be the same answer as our first number. So 3 plus 3 gives me 6. 5 plus 1 gives me 6. 10 minus 4 gives me 6. And I just keep on going, finding equations that get me to 6. And it's like a big, long chain. Have you ever seen those paper chains where you make a loop of paper and then you take another loop of paper and another loop of paper and maybe you do a countdown or maybe you're excited for something coming up? It's exactly like that. They all get hooked together to make an equation chain. So if I know what an equation is, I can make an equation chain. And the last piece today is using vertical equations. Now, we have two types of equations, vertical and horizontal. I put two pictures on our screen to remind you of how they look. Let's look at vertical first. This man in the picture is jumping up very high, isn't he? He's a very good jumper. When somebody jumps like this, they are checking their vertical jump. That's meaning how high they can get. He is jumping straight up. A vertical equation is up and down, just like that. Do you see how the numbers are going up and down? It's the same thing. Two plus four. It's a vertical equation. Now the other picture is of a horizon. The horizon is the line right where the land or the water meets the sky. The horizon goes side to side. So horizontal is an equation that looks like this. 
It goes from side to side. They are both the same equation, but I can write them in two different ways. If I have four, five, six, four, five, six. No matter which way I put it, I get the same answer. Let's practice some other equations as horizontal and vertical. Let's make a vertical equation. Five plus five. Second grade, what does five plus five give us? 10. Very nice. Let's write it horizontally. Five plus five equals 10. The same answer. We just can write it in two different ways. Either up and down for vertical or side to side, horizontal. They are the same equation and we get the same answer. They just look a little different.